Hi guys, today I will show you how to make this beautiful and smooth slide transition in After Effects. You have asked me to make this tutorial for a long time and I hope you will like it. Before I start, don't forget to put like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Your support really motivates me to make more tutorials and edits. Also, you got 3000 likes on the video on how to make an edit. Now there are only 2000 left and the second part will be released where I will show you how to make a more beautiful and complex edit. That's it. I won't bother you anymore, let's move on the tutorial. Prepare all your clips and align it to the center. Turn on this option and motion blur and precompose all your clips with these settings. You could also turn on motion blur on precompose clips. Now go to effects and find Twixer. Add to your clip. Put the cursor at the beginning of your clip and click on clock near the speed. Go one frame ahead and put from 25 to 40. I will put 30. Now you have move slow motion. But if you are slow motion warping, you can put in input frame rate 60 and change none to contrast edge enhance and change blend to motion weighted blend. But I don't need it. Do the same things for all your clips. After all these steps, again precompose your clips. Then turn on 3D for all your clips, create a camera with these settings and cut the length of the video. For cut use combination Ctrl Shift D, then create a null object and connect camera to this null object. You can also turn on motion blur. Now you need to put clip where you want animation. For me it will be here. Now select clip, click P on your keyboard and move it like I do. Leave here some space for text and white lines. Go to null object, select it and press P again. Click on clock and where your first clip ends, move it so that the second one appears. Now you should have something like this. But we need to make it more smoother. For that select your keys and press F9 to easy ease them. Open graph settings and select speed graph. Now you can repeat my graph or create something else that you will like. Now at the moment where the animation takes place, you need to create white lines. For it select pen tool and holding shift create straight line. For size you can put whatever you want. Then turn on 3D for white line and back it to the previous place. Also, don't forget to turn on motion blur. Then select your white line and press Ctrl D. Then press P on your second white line and move it like I do. Now you should cut your white lines and leave them only at the place where your animation starts. 
Now if white lines appear early, correct their position. Or you can create white flash at the beginning of animation and also at the end of animation. Create white solid, code it like you want, turn on motion blur, click T for the opacity and click on clock. Then go to the end of your white solid and put the value to 0. Select the keys, press F9 to easy easy them and go to graph settings and repeat my graph. Then just press Ctrl D and move it at the end of the animation. And your animation is ready. Now you need to add glow and turbulent for white lines. Select your first white line and press Ctrl D for copy. And do the same thing for your second white line. You can also rename it to glow1 and glow2. It will be convenient to work with it. Now for white line add turbulent displays, size put 12, open evolution options and holding alt, click on clock and over here write 13. Again click on clock, now you don't need to hold alt, go to the end of your white line and put from 10 to 20. Now select glow 1 and add deep glow and BCC drop shadow. Open deep glow and repeat my settings. Then open BCC drop shadow and also repeat my settings. Now we just copy turbulent displays Ctrl C and put it on your second white line Ctrl V. Also do it for deep glow and drop shadow for your second glow layer. That's it. You have beautiful slide transition. In order for you to understand better, I will show you this process again. Move your third clip where you want the animation. Press P and move it like I do, but leave some space. Then select your null and click here in order to create the key. Then go to the end of your first clip and move it. Select the keys, press F9 and repeat the graph or put whatever you want. Then create white lines like you did before. Now copy your lines and rename it 
and also repeat the settings for Turblend and Drop Shadow. You can just copy it from your previous white lines, but move the key for Turbulent to the end of your white line, if it is shorter or longer. And it's ready! I hope this tutorial was helped for you and now you know how to make this beautiful and smooth animation in After Effects. Also sorry for my English, I am not a native speaker and it is difficult to explain some things. But I hope that you understand me. I'll ask you again to put like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your attention, see you soon guys.